Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Before that, uh, Ashok, are you there, Ashok? Uh, Ashok, uh, yeah, I'm here, sir. Uh, so yeah. Hello, sir. Good, good. Hello, good, class, Hello, good, morning. Morning, sir. good morning, Ashok. Are you getting my voice? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm getting, sir. Yes, nothing is there after class. Yeah, once, so please, please call to management, okay? Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay. And uh, Sanjay, Sanjay also. Next, uh, Radhika, Radhika also, please call to management once after call because they are trying to connect, but uh, uh, it is not reachable over mobile. Okay, that's why after class, right now, no hurry. After class, so you people, please call to management once. Okay, fine. Yeah, come to the concept. Uh, okay, so thank now, you, thank you. today on, yeah, welcome. Today onwards, we are discussing how to work with this, okay, uh, that uh, TypeScript. Okay, before that, uh, just uh, we have to install the TypeScript and uh, after installation, we are working with the uh, TypeScript here that we will discuss now, okay. So first we have to install this TypeScript. Once TypeScript is installed, then we will uh, create the programs in this TypeScript, okay. So how to install the TypeScript? That is the main question here. Okay, first of all, see most of the softwares we are installing uh, through Google. In Google, we are placing that uh, software and uh, download option, right? Yeah. So, but uh, these days in industries, uh, we are using, okay, so, <coughs> repositories yeah. repository yeah first of all what is a repository yes so here repository is nothing but it is a location contains packages of various softwares. Okay. Yeah, repository is nothing but just like cloud location. And then the packages of various softwares. The different software packages are available in the repositories. Okay. Like here, node packages are there. And next one, Angular related packages are there. And TypeScript packages are there. So based on the requirement, we are getting those packages from this repository. Okay, repository is nothing but a location. You can call it as an external cloud. Okay, so in this repository, we have packages of different technologies here, like Angular, Node, okay, like that. These technology packages are available in the repository. Is it clear? Fine. Now here, different types of repositories are available. Okay, one is Node a repository. And next one here, and repository. Different types of repositories are available. All these repositories providing the packages of different technologies. Okay. So node repository, if you take here, this node repository is maintaining by node. Okay. And the and repository is maintained by Facebook like that. So now here, TypeScript I want to download or angular related packages i want to download or any other technology related packages i want to download this point of we are taking the support of this repository okay. yeah so here we are working with node repository not only we so many uh, corporate companies okay in these companies they are using the node repositories okay now we are discussing how to use this node repository how to i mean how to download the required packages from this node repository okay now here just uh, Node repository provides packages of various technologies, okay, different technologies. So we can download 
those packages using npm program that npm so provides packages of different technologies and we can download those packages okay by using one program what the program npm program we are using so here what is this npm program okay and uh, what is the official website of node repository what is the official website of node repository yes official website is npmjs.org yes that is the official website of node repository means in this website all the packages available to work with typescript angular react also s yes. and the next one here mongodb all these are available in this website but uh, you may think direct we can open this website and we can download the packages that is not possible i will show you that website now okay uh, npm yes dot org yes. <clears throat> if you observe this website in this website uh, no packages are available for downloading is it clear yes this website we don't have any packages for downloading is it clear yes so here i mean no option i mean no option it is providing download links are not available but in this uh, location only these packages are available but officially in front page they're not displaying any download options because this is not made to download from website Actually, there is another way that is by using npm program. What that program here? Npm program. Is it clear? Use npm program. Yes. What is this program? Where it is available? Okay. Yes. That program by default it is not available in our system. Or that npm program by default it is not available in our system. So we have to install this program. Okay. Now I will show you that one npm. Stands for Node Package Manager. What is this? NPM stands for what? Node Package Manager. Okay. It is a program to download the required packages from from where? Node. Download the required packages from where? From Node repo. So here npm. What the full form of npm here? Node package manager. Yes. It is a package to download the. Uh, it is a program to download the packages from Node repository. Okay, repo means here repository. So GitHub, if you know, GitHub is also one type of repository. Yes or no? like that all these are repositories okay now here github repositories for what to push the coding okay in companies uh, we are pushing the coding okay uh, through git okay into github okay those other programmers also can pull that code and they can do the modifications like that that is for programmers coding purpose but these repositories if you take node repository and and repository these repositories providing the predefined packages of various technologies okay we are downloading those packages to work with these technologies okay so that is the concept of repository repository means nothing but a location where collection of files are available that is repository okay. now here npm stands for node package manager it is a program to download the required packages from node repository is it clear that is the concept of this okay fine now here by default np program that is not available okay we can download this program into our system so it is not available with operating system so we can get npm program by installing node.js yes so here first we discussed what is node repository next one what is npm program so npm program we are using to download the packages from node repository yes but this npm program by default it is not available in our system yes we have to install this program how can we install this one by installing node.js okay by installing node.js so once you install the node.js then it downloads two things one is npm program 
another one is node server is it clear yes is the only two things what the first one npm program and second one is node server okay now here just uh, node js okay. actually what is node js exactly okay node js is server side script like this angular if you take client side script node js is server side script but once you install the node node js then it will not install any server side script that server side script we are creating we are writing that code and executing with the help of node js okay node js server so once you install node js node js server is downloading at the same time npm program also downloading okay so now here after installing node js so it downloads or it installs node server and npm these two things it is one is node server another one is npm program like that okay so node server we can use run node js script and npm program we can use to download the packages from node repository the concept of yes here if you take uh, this entire uh, discussion as three parts very simple first part is about node repository second part is about npm program third part is about node js so this node js we are using for npm program only we are installing this node js for npm program yes this npm program we are installing to download the typescript packages angular packages and other supporting packages from node repository what is node repository i think but it is a location contains packages of different technologies like uh, so typescript react angular etc so these packages we are downloading with the help of npm program to install this npm program first to get the npm program first we need to install node js after installation of node js it is downloading two things one is node server first one is what node server and second one is what npm program as yes, these two things it is downloading so that is the concept uh, which we have now we are discussing how to install so once uh, you install this node js okay from where you can download node js official website is node yes dot what is that the official website yes once we install this node js then what the next step so we have to execute the command npm s type script like that npm so angular or mongodb or any other things this is the command we are using so this command will install typescript this command will install mongodb but to install these things here so first we have to install npm program we have to get the npm program how can i get the npm program by installing node js we are getting the npm program that is the concept of is it clear yes. so in this point of view any queries you have first of all uh, you can ask me any doubts yes so all of you clear with these points which we discussed nothing is there very simple concept okay it is very very simple concept so we are downloading the required packages for that we are taking the support of node repository yes from this node repository we are downloading the required packages to download the required packages we are taking the support of one program what is the program here npm program npm stands for what node package manager this program we are using here that's all this is the concept which we discussed till now yes okay so what the website official website of node repository tell me 
Raghavendra, what is the official website of Node Repository? Shubham. Yes. Tell me anyone. Oh, you are in mute mode. Huh? npmjs.org exactly npmjs.org okay so what is the official website of node.js radhika tell me radhika narasimha yes npmjs.org yeah yes exactly npmjs.org what is repository now tell me provides oh, packages Repository just like cloud. Okay, cloud. It is providing collection of different technologies, packages of different technologies. So we are installing these technologies in our system. Yes, yeah. So like that, not only node repository and repository is also there. It is also contain the packages. But GitHub, if you take that is a little bit different. That is for code pulling. We are using this GitHub. Okay, yes, in the uh, programmer's point of to build the code, everything we are using GitHub. In this GitHub, we don't have TypeScript packages, okay, and uh, Angular packages like that. In this GitHub, only programmers' codes uh, coding is available. Uh, different programmers we can download, okay, those codes, okay, if it is public. And here, for internal purpose, they are using okay, private keys, okay, only that company employees can download. Like that, that is also one repository, but that is to store the programs and this repository is to store the technologies. That is the concept. Okay, so to download any package from Node repository, we are using npm program. So if you install Node.js, if you install Node.js, then what is happening? That uh, Node program manager means npm program as well as Node server, these two things are downloading. Yes. Node server we are using for what? To run the server side script. And NPM program we are using for what? Okay. Yes, this program we are using uh, to download the required packages from Node repository. That's the concept. Yes. Clear? Fine. Now, just I'm installing this one. Go to this website, open Chrome, node.js.org. Now we are installing this one. This is 12 version and this is 14 version. clear? So 12 version means uh, up to now most of the program is downloaded this 12 version. LTS means long term support. Okay. Long term support means nothing is there. Okay. So currently programmers, more programmers download this one. After a few days, okay, this number will change, another version will come here. That is no doubt in that point of anyhow. We are installing this 14.12. It is downloading. Yes. Download is completed. Bit pending is there in download. I selected this one automatically it will open when the download is completed. Still it is downloading. Now it is completed. You can see Node.js setup. It is checking for the configurations in the system. Next, I accept the terms and conditions. Next, 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 next. next. 
on this as well. <coughs> How it is installing npm program at the same time node server. We don't have any work with this node server right now. Yes, our concentration is on npm program only. on this page. Now here, Node.js is installed successfully means Node server as well as npm program. Want to check, open the command prompt, Windows or CMD. And here, we're using Node hyphen V. And see, that version 14.2 is there, that version is. Next one, npm hyphen v, means the version of node package manager, that one npm hyphen v, that version is. Fine. Now what is the next requirement? We need to download the TypeScript. Yes, yeah, for that npm install, this is the command, because already we got node package manage this program already we got here okay then npm install hyphen g means we are installing globally that even like this npm install typescript hyphen typescript is installed which package of typescript is installed here 4.04 there is the package of typescript is it clear Fine, now TypeScript package is installed. You want to check whether it is installed or not. Okay, so TS is the command we can use. Now we are getting this data. Now here, what is hyphen G? That's the main question here, yes. See, we are installing packages with hyphen G as well as without hyphen G. So what is the difference between with hyphen G and without hyphen G, okay. For example, if I give hyphen G, it means it is installing the packages in global location in your system. Means if any package is installing global location, that package we can use in any drive. For example, if you take TypeScript, TypeScript I install globally. So in one folder I install this TypeScript. Okay, then the TypeScript I can use in D drive, E drive, or any other location in my system. That's the main purpose of hyphen G. If I don't use this hyphen G, if I don't use this hyphen G, then yes, I cannot use this TypeScript in uh, other locations, only the install location I can use the TypeScript. That is the concept of this. If I don't use hyphen G, then I can install in the current location only. I cannot install. I mean, I can use, I can use in the current location where it is installed. I cannot use in another location. That is the concept of this hyphen G. Is it clear? Yes. Like that, we are using this npm install statement, okay? And uh, our TypeScript has been installed successfully. We are ready to create the program in TypeScript and we are ready to execute that one. Yes, till now, any questions you have, you can ask me, okay? So here, uh, we discussed how to install the TypeScript and we, just, we also discussed something about Node Package Manager npm program. Yes, any questions we have, you can ask me, Narishimha Rao. And uh, in the case of 
Yeah. So these concepts clear for everyone. Yes, come on with this. Yes, no, sir. there is no question at all, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Now, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Tell me. Yeah, tell me, Neha. Sir, actually, you have written npm install TypeScript hyphen g. Can you do it without hyphen g? What will be the difference? If I do without hyphen g, okay, if I do without hyphen g, then what is happening? The current location, for example, here, yeah, in this folder I'm installing here, c colon slash like this, okay. The current location only I can use that software. In D drive, E drive, like other locations, I cannot use. If I install with okay. hyphen, then globally means anywhere you can use that one. That is the difference between these two. Okay, sir. Next. Any other queries? Okay, fine. Now we are creating the TypeScript program. So that how to create the TypeScript program and how to work with that. That we will discuss. Okay. So first of all, we need to discuss some basic points about this uh, programming of TypeScript. Okay, now here. So if you take TypeScript, already we discussed these points. Okay, it is super set of JavaScript, and it is front end means client side script. Okay, and implemented by Microsoft Corporation. Okay, these are the general things we discussed. I mean, program point of view, okay? So, how to work with this uh, TypeScript program, how to create and how to run, that is the concept here. Yes, okay. TypeScript is first point. Type says, we can use data types. I already we discussed this point with the differences between JavaScript and TypeScript in that point of view. Yes, if you take JavaScript, in JavaScript data types not possible, but if you take TypeScript, in TypeScript data types we can use here. TypeScript is type safe. We can use uh, data types, that's the first point. Second point here, TypeScript file extension v dot or the file extension of typescript dot ts we are saying the typescript program with extension dot ts okay so this is compulsory okay we can uh, give any file name extension should be dot ts okay next one every statement in TypeScript, we can terminate with either semicolon or enter. So here, a uh, separator between one statement and another statement is semicolon we can use as a separator or enter key also we can use as separator so this is the separate between one statement and another statement that's the point here next one so this point is clear now just like c language and other technologies you can use either enter key or semicolon as separator that's the point of this okay next point we are discussing here what is that TypeScript TypeScript um, in TypeScript file TypeScript file we can also use JavaScript code. So here JavaScript commands you want to use in TypeScript S yes, that is also possible. You can also use JavaScript. Okay. That's the concept of this. TypeScript file, we can also use JavaScript. Next one. ESC is a command to compile uh, 
TypeScript. What is that? TS is the command to compile the TypeScript code. So here command is nothing but TSC. File name dot TS. Is that command. Is it clear? Yeah, this command we are using to compile the TypeScript code. Okay. So what is the compilation process? What is happening that I will discuss later. Okay. So this is the command which we are using or the TS is the command. These are the basic points we should know. Okay. So we can use data types. Okay. And the next one, we can also use, uh, okay. Yes, JavaScript. And uh, we can execute TSC command. What is the purpose of TSC command? Yes, okay, that command we are using to compile the TypeScript. Okay, so just uh, one second, give me one second time, okay, please. Company call I'm getting, one second. Hello? Yeah, hello, Yes, come to this point. Yes. The thing is, TypeScript is type safe. Okay, and TypeScript file extension should be .ts. Okay, already told you here. Every statement in TypeScript we can terminate with either semicolon or entry key. Okay. Next one in TypeScript file we can use JavaScript code. Okay, TS is the command to compile the TypeScript. Okay. Now we need to discuss about TS command. So here, first of all, TS command. Okay, if you take here TS command. What it is doing? Okay, first step. It is okay. Checking for first checking for errors. That's the first one. Okay. So any errors are there? Okay. So errors it is checking there. That's the first. One. Next one. It is converting. So TypeScript code into JavaScript. Okay. Understanding? Yes. Once again, you can see this. So it is checking for errors. That's the first point. And it is converting TypeScript code into JavaScript. Okay. So now again, you may think, what is the role of JavaScript? Again, why we are coming back to JavaScript like that, you may think. Don't worry about this. I will explain to you. Actually, browser can understand JavaScript. Browser cannot understand TypeScript. Is it clear? Browser can understand only JavaScript. As a programmer, for your convenient, okay, as a programmer, for your convenient, okay, we are using TypeScript for our pro programming convenient. Is it clear? But finally, it is converting into JavaScript because browser can understand only JavaScript code. Browser cannot understand TypeScript code. That is the concept of this. Okay. Yes. Fine. Okay. Now here, just uh, as a programmer, you need not have idea on the JavaScript to work with the Angular, but uh, 
the TypeScript compiler role is converting that code which you have written in TypeScript. That code it is converting into JavaScript. Is it clear that code it is converting into JavaScript? That is the concept of this. Okay. Yes, fine. So now the thing is, browser has interpreters. These interpreters can understand only JavaScript code. These interpreters cannot understand the TypeScript code. That is the concept of this. Now I will create one program. That program I will show you now how to work with that program that I will show you. So now first of all here. Yeah, it is converting automatically that I will show you. Okay, just uh, wait one second. I will create one program and I will show you then you will get glad. Uh, here I'm creating new folder. Creating line three zero already it is here. Vat nine three zero am. Yes. In this location, I am creating one TypeScript file. Yeah. Actually, here a uh, TypeScript file extension should be dot ts. And uh, we are using different types of editors to work with this TypeScript. We are using different types of editors. Okay, but uh, initially I will explain you with uh, yes, edit plus. Okay, means one or two programs only. Okay, after that we will discuss how to work with Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Okay. Now here, open edit plus. Save this file. <coughs> this desktop. <coughs> class folder. This class folder B A T nine thirty. There, just demo one dot PSL given. Our demos are completed now. P R O one dot PSL. Now, uh, if you observe, media player icon is coming here. Operating system is providing this icon, but if you double click, it will not play that uh, music. Everything here, this icon is coming here. This is nothing but we are on dot uh, ts file which we created. Now, in this file, I am using JavaScript statement right now because TypeScript. Uh, not yet started this program, these concepts. Okay, just uh, all of you know this function. Alert is one function. Okay, this alert just I'm using welcome message. Yes, I'm displaying that message here. What the message I'm displaying? Welcome. Message. Yes, now this is the program. Okay, now here open uh, the command prompt and compile this program first of all. We have to compile this program. First step, what I done? I open edit plus. And uh, just uh, one statement I have given. Okay. I have given one statement. I like, and I saved this file with extension.ts. For the second uh, part here, yes, I want to compile this program. Then how can I compile? Open command prompt. Windows or CMD if I type here, command prompt is coming here. Yes, then TSC. PR1.ES is TypeScript compiler. So I told you it is performing two tasks. One is checking for errors. If no errors are there, generate the JavaScript file. I press enter key. Which location is open? Yes, in Enrica, but we have to open in the desktop location. Then here CD desktop. Then CD. So what is that? Uh, in class one folder. Like that, we have to type enter this path. So this is somewhat headache for us. That's why what we should do. Just here, select this one URL and type CMD there. Yes, in that address, if you type CMD, then yes, Windows command prompt is open in that location directly. If you go to the run and if you type CMD, then it is opening the root location. Then we have to use CD for conversion to the folders to convert in, into the folder. 
that's a better to go like this open the command prompt here and type cmd yes now in this location tsc hero one dot ts dot ts is not compulsory that is optional okay What is happened here? PR under JS. That PR under JS. That is uh, converted. That is the content. Yeah, this file is generated. Which file is generated here? PR under JS. That file is generated. I uh, mean, this TypeScript program is converted into JavaScript file. So, what is the code is there in JavaScript? That let me show you. Same code. You can see here. I let welcome like that. Now you can ask me that question, sir. Uh, why should we go with the TypeScript? Then we can do, go with the JavaScript. So what we have written in TypeScript program? Yes, this is the TypeScript program. Same code is available in JavaScript. Then directly we can create a JavaScript file unnecessarily. Uh, these steps are waste. Creating the TypeScript program, converting into the JavaScript. Those steps are waste. No? I mean, uh, directly if you go with the JavaScript, that is better. Like that, you may think. Yes, don't think like that because here in this program only single alert statement we have that is converted. I will show you an example now. Okay, then you will get clarity how much the difference is there between these two skips. Okay, now here in TypeScript, an object I'm creating. Okay, so you may have idea or may not have. I don't know about these classes, everything, but I will discuss each and everything. Okay. Just here one to show you one difference. I'm creating this program. If you don't know about class, no need to worry because without classes, there is no programming in Angular. The compulsory we have to use the classes, everything here. Okay. So now here my requirement is one class I want to access from another class. Okay, that's a class CLS2. And class CLS to extend CLS1. Yes, this is simple code which I have written in this TypeScript file. Now compile this one. Yes, click on this address, open the command from CMD type. Okay, then here TSC or the file name PRO1. Then it is again uh, recreated that JavaScript file. Okay, now right click and edit plus. Now you can see. How many lines code it has written for the concept? So if you take this TypeScript, let me close this file. This TypeScript CLS2 extent CLS1 I have given. Okay. For that, we come to the JavaScript here. So the same concept has written many lines. We have many lines. So that's why in programmer point of view, yes. It is very, very flexible to work with TypeScript. And the second point is, okay, in coding point of view, cleaner coding with classes, everything we can do in this TypeScript that is not possible in JavaScript. That's it. This is the main reason why they used TypeScript from version 2.x onwards. Okay. Yes. So this is the way how to create the program in TypeScript and how to compile the program in TypeScript. Is it clear? Yes. Now, you want to ask me any questions in this point of view, you can ask me now. Yes. Yeah. So here, this concept is clear now, creating the TypeScript program and comparing the TypeScript program. That concept is clear to everyone. Yes or no? Yes? Mm -hmm. So any queries you have in this point of view, any doubts, you can ask me now. Yes, clear, Narasim Rao. Radhika, all of you clear with these concepts, how to create the program and how to work with it. Yes. Once yeah. again, I will repeat for you. Okay, now here, yes. read these files. Okay. Open, edit plus. So we will use Visual Studio Code, but one or two days I will work with edit plus. After that here, our editor is this one, Visual Studio Code. This ID we will use here. From this ID, only we are deploying the project also into the Git or any locations. Okay, like that. This is very flexible ID for us. Okay, so here uh, we can clone the project into the Git. In companies, we are cloning the project in the Git. Okay, and uh, S1 Git Bash, everything we can operate from this ID. 
and some end prompts are available here itself. I will discuss about this idea later. Okay, first of all, we are discussing how to compare. Hello, the sir. Sir. Yeah, Neha. Sir, actually, I have, I have Mac laptop. How can I install Edit Plus there? So Mac. Ka. Yes, Mac. Yeah, Mac means that command is there, na? Okay. So that is a uh, uh, sudo command. You can Mac. Ka. Yes, sir. Back means uh, just that command you have to find out that one because if it is uh, open for then you can go with that sudoku install command here. Back means uh, that command should you have to check out that command because I don't uh, work with Mac OS. Okay, so open okay. is there open the sudo command you can use as sudo. Okay, hyphen hyphen install like that. That command is available. Not only this edit plus any software. Okay. Back means you have to check. It is available. Simple line web. It is available. You can go with that. Fine. Edit now plus here, has Mac. Yeah. Okay. So not Edit Plus exactly available. That matching related software. Because here, so some software is not exactly available for other technologies. But that uh, simulation software is available. You can download that one. Okay. So save this file once again. Class. One just we are using BAT nine one. Uh, what is the nine thirty AM? Yes. So in this just PRO two dot TS something I have given. <coughs> yes. What I done next step? Yeah, I have written some code. Welcome. Now you can see here. Yeah. Is there now? Select this address and open the command from ESC. Okay. What this file name here? PR what to okay. I can see we got this PR to what? Yes, it is converted into PR to what JS. Now what I am doing here, just open one more window in this edit place and save this in the same location. So in which location we created this project? B8930. In this location, just we are using uh, index.html. One file I'm creating here. Index.html. Now we can see this location. Yes. Index.html. In this file, I want to call this pro2.ts file. As in this file, I am taking add a tag and body tag. This add tag just skip. Source is equal to what is that? PR or two dot is this body here? Welcome or not. So, like that, this is the procedure <coughs> how to call external JavaScript file from our HTML program. Yes, now in this HTML file, we are also displaying one message. What is the message? Welcome all. Now, if I double click here. And here, welcome is the message that is coming from which file? TS file, JS file. In the JS file, we have welcome that message is there. And here it displays welcome all as the text of this body. So, this is the way how to include, how to include HTML file, uh, sorry, uh, JavaScript program within the HTML file. So, in this point, of, we are taking the support of script tag and source is equal to, we have given like this. We are order. Is it clear? Yes. This is the procedure how to work with this concept here. So I think all of you clear with this how to create TypeScript file and how to create okay uh, how to compile that file to generate the JavaScript. <coughs> how to link that JavaScript file with our HTML program. So all of you clear with this concept. Here. So no. So now we will start the concepts of TypeScript one by one. Okay. So I think is the HTML file if you want to create. Open edit place and save this as index.html. Yes. Yeah. So here who is that burger? Yeah, burger. Yeah. I created one file with name index.html. Any name you can use here. Any name you can use here. But for index one purpose is there. Uh, what is that I will discuss later. Right now it is not required to you. 
actually index file is the startup file of every server that's the concept of this but anyhow you can use any file you can now index.html i created okay now here in this file i have taken the head tag and body tag inside this head tag just i have given script source is equal to ero2.js and within the body tag welcome all then what we should do just double click on this index file now it displays the message like this welcome is there and here welcome all message is coming from body so that previous welcome message okay, is coming sir. from where that previous welcome message that is coming from javascript file so that is generated from typescript if you observe here yes now one more statement alert okay a b c d I have given now save this now here will it apply in this index no only welcome is coming here single welcome we are not getting a b c d because i did not compile this file again so we have to recompile this file then here open the command prompt now okay so select this and cmd just we are using here yes what the command we are using tsc okay yeah, typescript compiler tro2 i have given this company calls have started now here refresh this one welcome and a b c d like this. is it clear so like that is the scenario okay how we can uh, run this code and how we can compile this code okay that's the concept here yes fine uh, one point you should remember i will write in note when we are creating the classes and functions they should be in camel cases okay so camel case means what is the meaning of this camel case here yes, nothing is there okay so first every word first character is capital letter the meaning of camel case nothing but every word first character is capital letter this is standards we are following for example one class you are creating okay yeah class name is user info then user info. so you should be capital letter i should be capital letter. like that we have to use this like that any other class here okay so product info so p is capital letter and i is cap like that this is standard even if you create with small cases then no issue but we have to follow this standards in this scenario okay and when we are working with the functions here function name also camel case but it should start with the small cases for example get user details then how can you don't use g capital letter small get user details so here u is capital letter and d is capital letter like that okay now here next one get address we have to follow the standards here okay so here class names and function names as well as variables also should be in camel Divine. case what the meaning of camel case every word first character is capital letter okay yes mm -hmm. sorry every word first character is capital letter and here if you take these functions okay function name uh, starts with small case and uh, class name starts with capital letter I think you people uh, have some idea on JavaScript one function get element by ID. Anybody have idea on this function? Yes. If you don't have idea, no problem. This is one predefined function. If you observe here, uh, first word starts with small case, and from second word onwards, E is capital letter, B is capital letter, I is capital letter, like that. Yes. Same pattern we have to follow. And the class names means okay. First character also should capital letter. So that is compulsory because uh, uh, if you don't follow these type of standards in uh, normal companies, it is okay. Small companies, when you are going to that CMM companies, okay, then they will reject your code also by seeing these things. Okay, yes, like that coding standards as well as okay, naming conventions, all these are very very important for us. Okay, fine. So we discussed uh, how to install this. Okay. Uh, npm program after that how to install the typescript these two things we discussed 
and how to create the program in TypeScript, how to compile, and how to add this program within the index file. So these concepts we discussed. I think all of you clear with these concepts, right? Okay. To do one thing uh, today, I'm stopping now. Install the this uh, npm program is node.js if you install node.js automatically npm program is available install node.js and install uh, the typescript and try to create this program like this and try to run this one that is enough right now so we will discuss the concepts right? from tomorrow onwards we will practice those concepts is it clear yes so any more queries you want to ask you can ask me and second thing is if anybody is pending in fees point of view you can contact management once because uh, the link will change soon okay so that's a before that only you can clear that pendings as well as any fees okay once call to this first fine okay so next session uh, tomorrow session yeah tell me uh, sir i have one question uh, yes, uh, sir do we uh, do we have a live project uh, in this course sir uh, we have many projects we have many projects in this course i will explain you many project from from front end how to work with the front end everything Live project means that is separate batch here. That is main stack project batch you have to start join. There we are discussing the live project. Here mini project we are discussing. Okay, See, sir. Here, okay. So, uh, what time is the main stack? Main stack right now you are not eligible to attend the main stack because to attend the main stack first you should know Angular concepts. Is it clear? At okay, least, sir, uh, okay. okay, at least uh, one month classes or 20 days classes are completed in Angular. Then you are eligible to attend mean stack because in mean stack also first one month we are discussing node.js concepts mongodb in that one month the remaining concepts in angular will be covered that's why so you have to wait for 20 days minimum then only you are eligible to attend the mean stack in that mean stack we are moving with project we are not discussing so theory concepts and programs what uh, which we are discussing this class okay based on this program next implementation is it clear Yes, sir, yes, thank you. Yes, so in tomorrow's session, we'll discuss the remaining concepts. Okay, so see you next class, all of you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.